Rock of the Yahoo, Rock of the Yahoo Show, Rock of the Yahoo, Rock of the Yahoo Show, Rock of the Yahoo, Rock of the Yahoo Show, Rock of the Yahoo, Basham Yahoo Show, Basham Rakakwadash. Give double honors to apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers in all sincerity pushing this true doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel and Shalom to the hopeful elect. All the praises is given to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Amen. So be true. Well, I need to first, first of all, I need to say this, you know, we have to say thank you, Thawada, to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His Beloved Son for everything. We cannot stop praising our Heavenly Father. Cannot stop. The Lord is so generous. Although we're going through our moments, you know, our hardship, we have to thank our Heavenly Father for everything, the food, the, the drink, even though things are defiled, we have to thank the Lord for feeding us, giving us shelter, giving us clothes to put on our, on our back, giving us shoes to put on our feet. There's so much we should thank the Lord. You know, these bodies that we're in, you know, I'm even sometimes I have to say to myself, how do I do it? How do I do it to get up sometimes and, you know, even to do videos, right? And then sometimes, you know, you think, oh, what to say and what to do. Your, your, your body's tired, you're fatigued, you're stressed, yeah? You're fighting, you're battling your ailments. And it just wears you down. And that's why I'm saying, just to remind us to thank Yahweh Basham Shai for everything. A beloved brother, he had um, an operation uh, about a week ago. And, you know, we prayed over him. We prayed for him. And now he's out. And he's so happy. That the um, operation went well, you know, and he thanked us for praying for him. And this is why the, the mercies of the Lord is so, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yeah. We thank the Lord for everything. You know, although we don't feel worthy at times, <laughs> a lot of the times don't feel worthy, you know. You don't know if you're pleasing the Heavenly Father enough. We could never do enough for the Heavenly Father. Never. But this is a blessing. It's a gift that the Lord has woken us up. You know? And sent us to the right people, the right men, the right teachers. So, Brokothi Yahweh Basham Yahushai. I had to start off with that, you know. I would like to name this. The sign of the times are here. And this is a blessing because people are asleep. People are drunk on that wine. So let me tell you how it is started through the Spirit and Brakothi Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekar Kodash The Wada Yahweh Basham Yahushai Forever and ever Amen Forever For keeping us going And we hope we pray that we remain to the end Alright The sign of the times are here When I was a little boy I could have been about from seven or eight. I could have been at home or at school. And every time it rained and you hear a little thunder, we used to sing this song, this nursery rhyme, this poem. 
It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. Right? We used to sing that all the time when it used to rain. Right? But we never knew the real meaning of it. Yeah? So sometimes, you know, there's always some hidden agenda behind these poems, the cartoons, yeah, the comic books, right? It's all hidden gem, um, hidden um, mysteries, yeah, on the left hand side. But let me tell you where it started. It says about that poem. I say it again, yeah. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. And we always just look up in the sky and sing that song, you know. The old man is snoring. We just think about the, the God in heaven is, is snoring, yeah. As young kids, we don't know what it meant. We just went along with the flow. It says, the first two lines are metaphorical it's raining it's pouring means that the alcoholic beverages are being poured liberally consequently the old man is inebriated which means he's drunk causing him to bump his head right it has been suggested that the verse is a classic description of a head injury bumped his head followed by a, lu a lucid interval and an inability to resume normal activity he couldn't get up in the morning all right and he says uh neuro neuro surgery suggests that in regard to the first verse at least the rhyme is an interpretation of an in accidental death accidental death couldn't get up in the morning indicating that no attempt or ability to get up was made right because it was an accident he hit his head he bumped his head and he died yeah and this is what it all meant, that poem. So when you go to Ephesians 5 verse 18, it says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is ex excess, but be filled with the Spirit. And we know what the, what the wine represents, different philosophies of the world, yeah? And we know it says twofold, it's actually wine too, yeah? The spirits, there yeah, we drink to feel, you know, when we're sorrowful, we drink, we try to drink wine to feel merry, to remove this, you know, um, for, for, for our healing. A little drop of wine is good from time to time, yeah? But we talk about the world. Drunk of that wine, the philosophies. That's why this, that she's going to be drunk, drink it double. Because that was pushed onto us, yeah? The philosophies of this world. Not the truth. And we have to thank the Lord again for waking us up. Into, and we all used to go to church. Right? Are we drunk of that wine? The philosophies of the world. Right? So we have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah? The real truth. So remember the, the 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 name of this video will be the signs the sign of the times are here. First Thessalonians five verse three to seven, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness. You see, because the Lord has woken us up. Lord willing that we are fully woken up and to remain to the end. Waking up is one thing, but is to endure unto the end. That he, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are 
all the children of light. All right. So we say, Brokathur Yahweh Barsham Yashai. To be born a Hebrew Israelite. And as Elder Pastor Ha said, <laughs> he's always said, the first thing I used to hear Elder Pastor Ha saying, we should be thankful that we are born a Hebrew Israelite. Right? Because we could have been born an Edomite. All right? But like I said, time would tell. You know? Ye are all the children of light. And the children of the day, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep. You see, when you drink of that wine, you, dr you drink too much, right? And we have to thank the Lord that the Lord has gotten us out of that, that drunkenness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. And see, the, the people of this world, but let us watch and be sober, right? Sober. Because when you drink too much of that wine, you become drunk and you could um, get into trouble. All right? Therefore, let us not sleep as others do. And they're drunk on the other, and on the other religions, you know, different types of religion out there, philosophies. Let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that are drunken, are drunken in the night. Right? For when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction. And this is why, because people are, are asleep. And we pray to the Lord, our Heavenly Father, please, Baba Kusha, this is real talk, you know, right? This is real. That's why it says he that endures to the end. We beg the Lord, Heavenly Father, that the Lord does not put us back to sleep. You know, I tell you something, sometimes I feel so unworthy. I feel slow. Right? You know, you get, you know, the demons, in, and we can speak for everyone. The demons are hitting you. You feel like you're losing it. And you have to beg the Lord more, please, Baba Gosha. I don't want to be drunk on that wine. And we all drank that wine. Right? We want to drink that's the Holy Spirit. That's the kind of wine we need. The true doctrine. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. All right? We don't want to make mistakes. Because if we drink of that wine, that's going to lead to death. When you drink the real wine, the truth, all right, that leads to, 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 to everlasting life. And this is what it is. Everybody's drunk now. Everybody's, look at it. We have the C-19. We had this. We hear um, that happen. You're hearing earthquakes. You're hearing the riots. You're hearing all kinds of things going on around the world. But people think that, okay, we're going to get out of it. We've been there before. We're going to get out of it. Right? Let's just go back to sleep. Everything is going to be sorted out. Right? The world, the government, you know, they will sort everything out for us. But remember, we are not of this world. We are not of this world. For when they shall say peace and safety, everybody's in a calm spirit that relaxing spirit. They don't see what's going on. Things are happening. It's gradually happening, but it's actually, it's happening. Because we are watching as well as praying, you know? Jeremiah 51 verse 46. Unless your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land, a rumor shall both come one year and after that in another year shall come a rumor. You see, that's what is going on. It's year after year. People see things happening. Destruction comes, right? And the main one is coming. 
But they always keep on thinking that it's going to be resolved. It's going to be resolved. Rumors of wars, rumors of this, rumors of that, but it's going to be resolved. World War I came and it was resolved. Yes, it created a lot of problems. World War II came, right? And it was resolved. This is what people keep on thinking that it's going to be resolved. At least your heart faint and ye fear the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year, yeah, and after that in another year shall come a rumor. Back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, that's at peace and safety. Hmm? And violence in the land, ruler against ruler, right? Because keep people just in that state of drunkenness because they're not looking towards the prophecies, you know what I mean? They're not looking for the signs, the signs of the time. They just think, okay, you know, nothing's going to happen now. It goes and comes, it goes and comes. Let's go back to sleep. It'll be, it'll be, I'll wake up in the morning, everything's going to be sorted out. Yeah? But that, that same old man, he was drunk and he went to bed and he hit his head and he couldn't get up. He couldn't get up. And even if he got up, he's drunk to the world, right? He's dead to the world because of the different philosophies. Ezekiel 12, verse 26 to 28. Here's another famous one again. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is far is for many days to come. And he prophesieth of the times that are far off. You see? Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord our power, there shall no none of my words be prolonged any more. You see, the Lord will say this and the Lord will say that, but there's going to be a time, sudden destruction. Because the Lord prolongs it, you know, it's, the Lord does it according to his time, right? Remember, one day to us, right, is equal to a thousand days to the Lord our power. Right? If I got it right way around. Hold on. Yeah. One day to the Lord is a thousand years for us. Yeah. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord our power. Whatever the Lord says is going to come to pass. And people saying, not in my lifetime. This is it, you know, not in my lifetime. Because it's afar off. Son of man, behold. They of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. Many, 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 many days. And he prophesieth of the times that are far off. Way, 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 way down the line. Oh, not in my lifetime. Right? Not in my lifetime. And you know, these people, because they don't know about reincarnation. They're going to return back in the third or fourth generation. They don't believe that. They think that you just you live once. So they feel nice and safe. They feel safe. People living right now, they feel safe because they only live once. They're drunk. They don't understand that there is reincarnation. All right? Peace. They say, oh, I'm okay. I think I got away with it. I think I got away with it. But it's going to happen. Yeah, it will happen, but not in my lifetime. I've heard it since I was a boy growing up. Not in my lifetime. Right? I spoke to family members about the RFID chip. They said, oh, yeah, this could, it could be a possibility. Yeah, you have a point. But not in my lifetime. Way, way down the line. It will never come to pass. But it will come. 
Thus saith the Lord. You think the Lord speaks halfway and stops? Everything the Lord says he completes. Everything that the Lord says he completes. Right? So he doesn't stop halfway. Just to please you. Because it's not about us anyway. Matthew 24 verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. We're hearing, the, we're hearing the wars and rumours of wars. Things what's going on. Things what's going on in Ukraine with Russia. Everything's going to be. Everything is just. It's 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 like a it's like a it's, it's a big cooking pot, right? See that ye not be not troubled. So the Lord is telling us now. All of you seen the signs, right? Because we're not drunk on the wine. He's saying, listen. Yeah, you're in the flesh, you're going to think these things. Be not troubled. Be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. It must come to pass. But people think it's, oh, the peace and safety. Oh, don't worry, it's going to weigh down the line. I'll be dead and gone by that time. Yeah? All these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. But we are in the end times. And we've seen this according to the prophecies. Right? The mark of the beast, the RFID chip, that will be implemented soon. And that is the major thing to look out for. As Elder Pastor Hart says, as soon as that happens, it's going to move like lightning, right? A domino effect is going to move. But the end is not yet. So when people see this now, that are drunk, and they read this now, right? Not having any knowledge, not having any understanding of the scriptures. But the end is not yet. They say, oh good, the end is not yet. Oh good, I could, um, I've got some time. I've got time. Don't worry, I'll be dead before that time. Eh? It's going to be way down the line. 60 years, 80 years down the line. I've got time because the end is not yet. The end has got a long, long, long way to go. But the end will come one day. All those scriptures about, all those tarrying, wait for it. We are in that waiting period. That tarrying moment. All those it's waiting, all those tarrying, wait for it. Because when it comes, it's not going to tarry. Back to what Elder Apostle Taha said. When that time comes, right? When they're about to fill their belly, right? Sudden, when they're about to fill their belly. It's that height, that pinnacle. Because they are pushing and pushing and they think that no, <clears throat> this life is going to continue forever. So they got time. But he knows he's got a short time. He knows he has a short time. Right? But when people see this, they say, okay, but the end is not yet. So you sit and relax. You start to drink again in excess, not knowing, right, that that the sudden destruction is going to come upon all of us. And Lord willing that we are worthy, we are worthy of, of, of everything from our Heavenly Father that we get through, that we, you know, the Lord has mercy upon us to find a way out. He always finds a way out. I can testify to that, beloved brothers and sisters. I can testify to that. The amount of things I've been going through and the Lord always just helps me. Yeah? And I know our Heavenly Father is also helping you too. All of you. But we have to remain and endure to the end. That's all it is. Remain and endure to the end. So I'd like to end there. Through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yoshai Basham Makar Kudash and I say Thawada Thawada Yahweh Basham Yoshai for giving us the strength.
to do what we need to do. That's all it is. And we beg the Lord to remain faithful and true and that we, we serve in sincerity our faithful, faithful creator, Yahweh and his beloved son. Yeah, so Brakoth Yahweh, Bar Sham Yahushai, Brakoth Yahweh, Bar Sham Yahushai, Brakoth Yahweh, Bar Sham Yahushai, Bar Sham Bakakudash, and double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Yeah, for breaking down these scriptures. Yeah, I have no way on a level. No way on that level. So we thank them, our apostles, for helping us. Like, you know, drinking of the wine. People like this look at that and say, oh, it's wine, drinking wine. No, it's the philosophies. And we have to thank the Lord that we have gotten out of that. All right? Okay. Sorry for prolonging this. And um, my brain is all about the place, you know. I apologize, but the point is that we've got the foundation, the foundation, yeah, the foundation, and that's a blessing to have, to have that foundation. Okay, Shalom.